please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back. I'm your host, Juliet, And I'm your other host, Violet. Learning Leader Club will be meeting today in Cardio Room. The purpose of the club is to learn different leadership aspects. The club is led by Mr. Potts and Mr. Van Dyne. Today, Mr. Isles Community should report to room 221 to Mr. Fortner's class, and Ms. Graham Bishop's community should report to room 102 with Ms. Berkey. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2, Dorito Tacos or Chicken Fajita Tacos. Line 3 is closed, line 4 Soup and Salad Bar, and line 5 Big Daddy Pizza. A happy birthday goes out to Caden Gajardo. Now to sports and weather. Thanks, guys. As you were coming in today, the weather was at a 44, a wind speed of 70. Later on today, we should get a low of 27. That's it for weather. Now, now to sports with Abby. Thanks, guys. Both the girls and boys swimming teams beat the North Montgomery Chargers last evening. The boys' final score was 108 to 63, and the girls won 104 to 71. With outstanding performances all around, swimmers of the meet were Carly Santos with 100 butterfly. Tyler Harness 500 freestyle, and Malakin, Malachi Galachan improved by 23 seconds in the 100 breaststroke. The next swim, swim meet is tomorrow away against West Lafayette. The girls basketball team lost to Sheridan last night. Peyton Debris, Jesse Ramos, and Tara Martinez showed some positive signs of growth on the court last night. Offensively, Jordan Frazier, Jesse, and Tara led the dogs with six points apiece. If you would like to watch the game, HDTV streamed the whole game. Make sure to check it out. The girls' next game is tomorrow, home against Delphi. That's it for sports today. Now sending you back to the studio. Don't forget to join the Mayor's Future Leader Advisory Council. This is a great way to help the community and make Frankfurt a better place. The deadlines for application turn-ins are the 10th of January. Applications are available in student services. Now to a special feature for automotive pathways created by Odalise Campos. <laughs> At our Frankfurt High School, there are many pathways offered, and one of them is the Automotive Technology Pathway. For this pathway, six credits have to be obtained, and altogether, the classes taken for the pathway have to be averaged to a C. There are six classes offered in the Auto Tech class with Mr. Blount, and they're all Ivy Tech dual credited. In these classes, students get hands-on experience and they get to work on everything, from basic maintenance to engine performance and everything in between. And almost every lesson is project-based. Projects are scheduled around the availability and needs of the students and staff here at the school. Mr. Blount runs a class like an automotive shop and jobs are done as they come in. And students also get to learn around what is presented to them. If you learn by doing and love to do hands-on activities, then this is the type of class you might enjoy. Thanks, Elise, for that in informative video. I believe that's all that we have for today. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you on tomorrow's announcement, so don't forget to tune in for that and have a good rest of your day.